I guess the the main inspiration for the title of this album was that uh, you know I feel like I'm not necessarily like naturally an optimist, but I think optimism is something that you can work at and get better at. And you know, I think I think it's it's always worth trying to be optimistic, even if bad things are happening, because the alternative is to just despair and feel like nothing's going to work out and everything is going to go wrong and that's not much fun so even if it doesn't work out it's like it's better to have at the time been like well what if it what if it does or 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 at least try i feel like if i weren't an optimist i wouldn't try as hard you know what i mean i would just be like oh who cares nothing's gonna work and if you're optimistic you try harder and then there's a better chance it'll actually work out hey mtv news this is phineas and these are the top five things you may or may not know about i feel like i feel like you guys are pretty good at this stuff so i'm gonna assume you know some of these but maybe you'll learn something new. okay the first thing you might not know about me is that before i wanted to be a musician for a living i really wanted to be an animator i wanted to work at like pixar or dreamworks i grew up loving animating there was a, a application called pivot that was like a microsoft application i used to use where you'd like do stop motion animation i took a course in in flash like the adobe flash program but that was like a huge passion of mine. i always loved animating and i still like watch like Pixar movies and other than just like being engrossed in the movie, I'm, I'm just like so fascinated by the animation itself. So it's number one. I'm not good at animating. I went and got good at music making, but I did not ever get any good at animating anything. So I gave up before I got good. The next thing you may not know about me is I'm, I'm left-handed, I bet you know that. And I play guitar right-handed. And that's just because that was, we had a right-handed guitar and I couldn't afford to go buy a left-handed guitar to learn on. So I learned on, on, on a right-handed guitar. And I've always wondered like, maybe I, if I'd be a better guitarist if I played left-handed, but we will never know. Third, uh, my favorite TV show growing up was a show called Community starring um, Joel McHale and Donald Glover and a bunch of other amazing actors. Allison Brie was on it, Gillian Jacobs. Anyway, it's an awesome show. Billy's favorite show growing up is The Office, but mine was Community. Fourth thing you may not know about me, I think if I weren't making music, if I got if I got fired from making music, I would probably just want to go be an interior designer or an architect. Um, that's kind of like the thing that excites me the most outside of music is like, you know, getting a chair reupholstered and figuring out what the perfect color to paint the guest bedroom is or stuff like that. It's so fun to me and exciting. It feels like you can work on it forever. Like a space is never like quite done, which is so thrilling. Lastly, my favorite place in the world is New Zealand. I think if I could, uh, if I could live anywhere, I'd probably live in, live in New Zealand. I can't wait to be back there. I actually think that working with other artists, making other people's music it is makes it easier to make my own stuff because I'm sort of like more focused on not doing what I'm doing with those other people. Like when I first was writing songs, I, I wasn't co-writing with anyone. It was just like me and I had a band in high school or whatever. And I'd write, you know, such different styles of music for my band because I've always kind of loved all music. So the, the feedback I used to get as a solo artist was like, these are pretty eclectic. Like one song sounds super different to the other song sounds super different. And that's still true to some degree, but it's like now that I'm working on Billy's project, when I'm working on my own stuff, I don't want it to sound like Billy and I'm working on Selena Gomez stuff and I don't want Selena to sound like Billy and I don't want to sound like Selena and I don't want Selena to sound like Camila. So it's like, it's actually like it helps it sort of like stay and it's like, it's easier to compartmentalize. So it's been really helpful. I guess the only real difference between the two projects is that this one maybe is like a little bit wider like the sort of from from A to B on this album is this sort of like windier journey with like the interlude in the middle that's like a piano instrumental piece and songs like um, Hurt Locker and Around My Net. There's more variety, I guess. And I knew that I was making an album. So I knew that it was this kind of long play. Um, when I was making that EP, uh, several of those songs were sort of like made 
without knowing that they would ever be on the EP. The song I Lost a Friend and the song Let's Fall in Love for the Night, like those were just sort of songs I had made. And then I was like, I'll put them on there. And with this album, it was, there was none of, it was always like, I'm making this album. These are the songs that will go on this album. So hopefully there's sort of more of a, a narrative, I suppose, is like my hope on this record. But I, I'm really proud of Blood Harmony. I love that. And I, I didn't want to repeat that either. I wanted to like, be like, yeah, that's this thing. And here's this other new thing. And I'm proud of both. And, you know, I'll play both of the show. My hope is that people take away from this album some song that they feel they identify with. To me, that's like the music that I'm the most connected and attached to as a listener is the music where I hear a song and I think, oh, that's exactly how I feel. And I don't know which song that'll be for which person, but I hope for every person there's some song on this album that they think, oh my God, that's, I totally feel that way about this. And, uh, and that to me is like always my goal for myself, you know, always my fantasy for other people.